So what do you do when you're out hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, and you got a knife, you need to sharpen it, but you don't have the world's best sharpener, fire starter, bottle opener, reshaper. All right, it's gone, I lost it. Don't know what I'm gonna do. So you know what, I just happen to be sitting around uh, a lot of rocks, and uh, that one's flat enough. Okay. You can take a rock, a rock is actually coarse enough to do a lot of work, all right? Now, I would look and see which side I want to work with. Maybe it's this side so I can hold it like that, and I'm going to come down across there like this or back here like this. You want to protect this part of your hand because you know it's going to happen pretty soon if you ever come this way. Thus, exactly like a whetstone. You know you got a whetstone, let's say it's uh, 2 inches by 6 inches by 1 inch, and you're holding it on, and you got your fingers up above, and you got the palm of your hand up above, and you're working away with it. I see people a lot of times actually that actually nick their fingers or the heel of their hand because they think they're being careful. Well, they're not real careful. So I'm going to actually take this one, turn it around that way, and then I'm going to have my fingers down below it so I can have the knife on there like this. And then I can just bring it across the rock like that. Now, I can also do this. A lot of people may not figure this out. You take the rock and you work on the knife this way. That way you most assuredly will probably never get cut. And you can work faster. Now it's kind of like a grinder working on it. And come back this way. Do it again out here. Turn it over back up here right next to the hilt and right on out this way and right on around around the radius and then off the tip just like that now I know I'm taking metal off of it because there is a color starting to form on my leg that's the shavings that microscopic dust off and also the rock don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not but see how it's changing colors that's because the metal is coming off the blade, sticking in the rock. So let's use a little bit lighter pressure. Go right on around like this. Turn it over. Go right on around like that. And then we just do this, kind of like a whetstone in a way. Just like that. Now this knife was semi-sharp a little while ago. This is one of them that I used in another one of my videos. So let's see if I completely dulled it or if it still shows evidence of sharp. Ready? That still shows evidence of sharp. Actually, that's pretty sharp. So if you don't have the world's best sharpener, you look around, whether it's a big big rock, that one would work, that one would work if you just want to lay it down and then you're going to run the knife across it. I happen to pick that knife, or that rock right there because it actually <laughs> is perfect to hang on to it like this with your fingers on the flat part. part. Get your hand down below the surface of the rock and you can go like this. You can come back in here like that, or you can do what's one of my favorite tricks. You actually just take the rock and you kind of grind on the knife like this, sideways, 90 degrees to the blade, just like that. And right on out, right off the tip. Actually, I like this rock. This is pretty cool. This works all right. Just like that. All right, now we're just gonna, I'm moving in a motion towards the cutting edge. I'm not going down like this because there's little bits of the rock that kind of get fatter and that would actually hang over the cutting edge. So when you go back against it like this, you can take the edge off. So I'm, I'm going towards the cutting edge this way as I go around. So it'd be just like this. Don't press too hard on it, probably not necessary, just like that. And then just touch it really light, really light. I can mess with this thing a few times and let's see if I ever screw up the cutting edge. I believe it's just getting sharper. Okay, that's pretty darn sharp. So what do you do if you don't have the world's best knife sharpener and you start looking for the right kind of a rock? Before you go hunting, hiking, camping, fishing and you're out there, learn a little bit of this stuff. Find, you know, go down to the creek bed, go to some river beds and stuff like that and find some rocks. Uh, practice on a dull knife and see if you can make it sharp, see if you can do it in uh, less than five minutes. All right, and just kind of get that stuff figured out. So when you're out in the woods, you're away from the things you normally use. You don't have the world's best knife sharpener from sharpensbest.com. Uh, you know, then you have to improvise and maybe you had the sharpener, but you dropped it, you lost it. Maybe you lost your pack, but you still got your knife in the sheath, you know, on your belt or something like that. So learn how to use rocks uh, in particular to sharpen with. And here we go one last time. Just like that. That's pretty sharp. This is Brad.
Take care and have a good day.